Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. Last time, we set sail across the ocean, wisely chose the correct path to this town, which is apparently where we need to be, and now we are continuing our hunt for Dual Magus. I'm gonna go all the way back to the gate here, though, and <laughs> we're gonna start talking to people in order. I don't want to miss anyone. I see you, Beryl. Fucking mini metal. Of course it would be hiding there. So easy to miss. Just tucked around the hedgerow. Welcome to Argonia. Kingdom of his majesty. King Clavius. King Clavius. I don't really recognize that name. I don't think it's been... I don't think we've heard it up until this point anyways. Do you know why Prince Charmels and... Charmless and Princess Medea were engaged even before they were born? No, I, I don't know. Well, it's a bit of a long story, but I'm sure you won't mind. Shall I start now? Wonderful! Now listen carefully. The link between the prince and the princess goes all the way back to their grandparents' days. Long, long ago, Prince Charmless's grandfather hid his identity and set off on a world tour. During his travels, he went to the kingdom of Trodane and fell in love with the princess. But Argonia and Trodane were on very bad terms at the time. He wanted to marry her, but he never got his wish because both of their families opposed the match. They had no choice but to part promising each other that one day their children would marry in their place. Sadly, they both only had boys, so they died without seeing their promise fulfilled. But then his son, King Clavius, decided that he wanted to make his father's wish come true. So he approached the King of Trodane and asked that their children be married if a boy and a girl were born to them. King Trode agreed to the idea. Some time later, King Clavius fathered a son, Prince Charmless, while Princess Medea was born to King Trode. So, by getting married, they'll be fulfilling their grandparents' wish at last. Sorry to go on a bit, but isn't that a lovely story? No, not really. I, I don't like arranged marriages, lady. I think they're weird. Probably ultimately unfulfilling to the people engaged in it. Let's, um, let's rest until evening. We'll explore the town at night first. Hmm. I'm gonna guess you don't change your story at all, lady, despite the fact it's now nighttime. Knock, knock. Is anybody in here? It's just room service. Here to do your nightly barrel inspection. Make sure there's no rats in your little cupboards here. No moths that might chew up all your garments. Them fine silk negligees that the women around here do like wearing so much. The moths this time of year are desperately bad. What we got? 38 gold coins. We're going to sneak up behind the, the inn owner over there in a second. And spook him just a little bit. There's his creepy bed. Another mini metal. He sleeps behind the counter just in case anybody shows up at night while he's asleep. Oi, aren't you a little bit early for the bazaar? Oh, you're not a peddler? Well, you look just like one. I had your peg as the type to come and set up camp here for the duration. No, we are traveling warriors. Princes in our own rights. Kings of mayhem. In other rights. Curious what type of bazaar he's talking about, though. Up the stairs we go. Curious what this building is. It didn't actually have a symbol on it. Oh my. Piece of plain cheese. Someone's fancy house. 
And I still don't know what cheese does in combat because I continue to forget to use it. At some point I will remember. I assure you. Hello? Is anyone here? Is anyone home? I heard footsteps, so it's you. My master is Chancellor to the King, and he's an extremely important man. Is that so? Is he in here by chance? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You can't just amble into someone else's house. I should be entitled to some peace in my own home. I am absolutely exhausted. I've been hunting all over the castle for the prince all day long. At least give me a moment's quiet before bedtime. Okay, sure. But that does not mean that you're going to get out of our inspection. There could be bookworms here. It's a diary of the mansion's owner. Lorenzo is telling everyone he wants to set out on a journey to broaden his horizons. It's painfully obvious that it's just a convenient excuse to get out of his duties at the castle. Then again, he says he plans to stop by Alexandria to see his fiancée, so how could I say no? It remains my fervent hope that his association with Jessica will knock some sense into that thick skull of his. Jess? Is that book about you? Hm. I, I think this is where Lorenzo's from. Do you rem remember Lorenzo, the man who thought he was my fiance? I do now. You do? Even though you only met him once or twice, you've got quite a memory plump. Lorenzo's the son of the Chancellor here. That's why my mother chose him to be my future husband. Without consulting me, I might add. Can you believe it? She's obsessed with smuggling me into polite society, whether I like it or not. You definitely would not fit. Hmm. If Dulmagus came here with the intention of another murder, I suppose his target would probably be a member of the royal family. But maybe it's not even possible to predict that. Who knows if there's any rhyme or reason to what he's doing. I ain't got a clue myself. But I wonder what it's like being engaged from the day you're born. Ah, you're thinking about Princess Medea. Well, personally, I'd love to have a fiancé. With a safety net like that, you could try your hand at the game of love to your heart's content. And never worry. You'd always have someone to fall back on. Who could want for more? You know, you don't exactly sound like someone who spent most of his life in an abbey. It's true. He's a weird con man type guy. Please, dear, don't disinherit Lorenzo, our only son. Maybe he's got more in common with you, Jessica, than you care to admit. Even he is going to be disowned by his family. Like, what the fuck's the point of balconies like this? They'll probably never be used for anything in the game. I don't have any items on them. They're there so you have a door to open the pump. So you have one more passageway to step out onto. That's what they exist for. So that's the Chancellor's house overlooking the whole town. Mr. Fancy Pants. <sighs> Got a secret entrance under the castle there. What is going on over in Baccarat? A casino where you can't play is like a pub where you can't drink. And speaking of drink, that reminds me of the casino bartender. He knows absolutely everything. He's a real one for gossip. I was at the casino once and he told me which slot machine plays out the most often. If there's ever anything you want to know, just head over there and ask for him. Why don't you tell me which slot machine plays out the most, pays out the most often? If I could choose my words properly. Oh, I met me wife over in Baccarat. The casino owner, Golden, told, came to our wedding, you know. He was so guffed at the thought of being there when two people who met wasting their money at his establishment hooked up. 
I worked at the casino in Baccarat a long time ago. The owner, Mr. Golding, was ever so nice to me. I'm really worried, though, because the casino's been shut, and there are rumors he's ill and bedridden. Maybe I should go there and see how he is. It breaks me hot that the casino's shut down. I was wanting to go waste all my money. Don't worry, children, it's just Yangus Claus come to town to pilfer all your goodies. We're having a contest to see which of us can stay awake the latest. Don't tell our mom and dad, okay? Ah, I wasn't asleep, I was just resting my eyes. I'm totally not trying to stay up to catch Yangus Claus dropping off presents. It's a book entitled The ABCs. C is for cow! There's a drawing of a cow next to it. Wonderful. Exhilarating. Flicking through the pages like this makes a refreshing little breeze. Glorious. What great books this family has. No wonder your kids are troublemakers. They need some some good stories or something. Instead of pretending to see how late they can lay in bed and stay up. Has there been a murder in town lately? Are you mad? King Clavius would never let a thing like that happen. Argonia is the safest place in the world. I promise you that on me life. What was that? Have I seen a suspicious looking man called Dulmagus dressed up as a jester? No, I think I would remember someone like that. Is he a traveling entertainer or something? You could say that. Bet you thought I'd be shut in the evening, eh? But I can't get enough of the old wheeling and dealing. So let's see the color of your money then. Holy crap. Silver mail. Look at that. Look at that. It's only a seven point increase for Yangus. Not that good. Twelve for plump if I got the partisan. Silver mail. Magic vestment. Hey. An enchanted garment that reduces damage from spells by two-thirds. That's pretty significant. A light and easy-to-handle shield that can be used by anyone. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> I can't be tired yet. Uh, I refuse. I refuse to fall asleep. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to sneak in your side door here. And rough up all your shit. Until you decide to lower your prices. Because 4,000 gold for each is just too much. An iron axe. Not good. Absolutely nothing. What else are you hiding back here? Oi! I can hardly keep the smile off my face during the bazaar. The place gets packed and my cells go through the roof. Okay, I think that's that for that side of town. Where would the bazaar even set up here? I don't see a large open park type area. Excuse me, sir. What a lovely house that you've got. A piece of cool cheese. Okay. One of Munchie's favorites. It's frosty cool cheese. Definitely not going to be using that one first. Hello, old man. There's an ancient ritual here in Argonia where the prince has to prove he has what it takes to rule the kingdom after his father passes. He does that by defeating a rare monster called an Argon lizard and bringing back its jewel as proof of his conquest. If he succeeds, he's recognized as the heir to the throne. It's sort of like a coming-of-age ceremony, I suppose. Dragon Quest VII had the exact same thing for one of the towns. Ah, phew, phew. Quit creeping on her, Yangus. Once is enough. We find a turban. Okay. 
kill the Argonian lizard. The Argon lizard. Isn't that named after a gas? Do you guys have the periodic table figured out in this world or what? I'm just making shit up. Putting words together. Hello? Is anybody home this evening? We're totally not cat burglars here to steal everything. Excuse me, sir. Ah, he gave me a fright. What are you doing up and about so late? If you want to chat, come back and see me tomorrow. I'm off to sleep now. Oh, darling. Me and my wife sleep in separate beds. For some reason, we couldn't afford a double bed. It's too difficult to push the beds together. There's always a crack between them. One of us falls down. I kind of figured that we would be missing out on a whole bunch of stuff. If we tried to explore this at night, but whatever. <gasps> There's a town northwest of here. Famous for its casino. It's Baccarat is what it's called. The casino's a real draw for tourists. But... It's suddenly been dozed clown or closed down. I wonder what's going on. There's the item shop. Hmm, my Prince Charmless loves a good gamble when he has the chance. He often sneaks down to the castle and heads over to Baccarat for the odd game or two. He must be feeling a bit peeved now, though. Yeah, what with the casino there being closed down and all? Okay. What is this place? That's the castle. I'm guessing they don't want us entering yet. Or maybe we just can't enter it at night. This isn't the church. Church. Is it a backup church in case the first church gets burned down? Maybe it's a wedding? Area? A wedding hall or something like that? A leather cape! I hate how I almost never find any items that are actually useful. Did you know about the wasteland across the sea to the northwest of here? Nobody lives there. People say that the shrine in the middle of it is filled with the darkest powers in the world. It's a place everyone's been going to for years to perform dark rites, apparently. Well kind of people who go in for that sort of thing, I mean. Not upstanding citizen balds like me. Oh no. I do my dog rituals. At home. Where it's nice and safe. I ain't gotta worry about no monsters coming up and nibbling on me. Biting me. I don't, I don't like, I don't like this place. I have a bad feeling about that place. This layout is weird. Excuse me, sirs. Well, I'm afraid entry to the castle isn't permitted at night. I couldn't even let you in during the day at the moment. Not until the prince is found. If we don't seal up the exits like this, there's a chance he might, well, he might just run away. Why he'd want to run away, who knows? Why do we want to stop him? Well, that's another story entirely. Hmm. If I were a criminal, where would I hide? Is that a joke? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Let's see. No, sorry, I have no idea. But if anyone would know, I bet the bartender in Baccarat would. He can't get enough of the old gossip. Okay. I guess, before I go to the inn and turn it daytime and then spend another 20 minutes running around town, let's see if we can sn Nope. The door seems to be locked. Kind of figured it might be, but... Had to check it out anyways. Okay. I'm surprised that there's so many people actually up this late. Oh, Beryl, did I already smash you to smithereens? Feathered cap. Apparently not. This door really needs, like, a pathway to it. Some stepping stones, maybe a little dirt trail. Excuse me, Mr. Bowlcut. Making me pay 80 coins to stay overnight. I 
will not be recommending your establishment to any of my friends. We didn't even need to sleep because we already did. We just wanted to set in the lobby. Okay. First things first, let's go check. Was it this house where the guy said come back during the day? I think it was. There he is. What are you doing? I have to keep my voice down because I don't want to be overheard. And I'm more than a little worried, a little bit worried about the future when I think of Prince Charmless rolling the roost. I mean, it's hard to believe that he's King Clavius' son with looks like that. Clavius is so distinguished and handsome, well, Charmless is just, well, Charmless, really. If it was just his looks that weren't up to scratch, it wouldn't matter. But it goes a lot deeper than that. He's right fucked in the head, mate. Don't tell anyone I said that. Every time my husband opens his mouth, he comes out with something bad about Prince Charmless. I can see where he's coming from, but still... Someone's gonna overhear him one of these days and... Well... Probably chop his head off. I'm curious about this Prince Charmless now. Wait, I don't want to come into this place. I'm curious just how bad he could be. Is he ugly enough that he'd be angry about having to marry a horse, I wonder? Okay, what are you selling, item shop? Moonwort bulbs. Hmm. Put them in the bag, honey. We're gonna buy nine more. I should probably stock up on a bunch of these things. And honestly start baking them in the alchemy pot. Got 13 of those, okay. No. Nope. Wish you had better items to sell us, but... Damn monster team. I just want alchemy pot to be at the bottom. It's like, why, why can't I rearrange that menu? Get it back to what I expect it to be. Um... Bronze knife. I really need to, like, arrange this bag at some point. Yeah, pop them in there. We actually do get kind of a nice item out of mixing three of those together. Yes, yes, Trode. Hello, sir. Oi, I came all this way to get a permit for this year's bazaar. But I can't get inside the castle. Of all the luck. I even brought me wares with me, and now I got to just let them... Let them set outside the city until I can bring them in. Okay. Who are you? This building is used for big events, but there's been nothing much going on lately. It is a wedding hall of some type, probably. Okay, so we can't get inside. There's probably a few more people in this town to talk to, but... Hmm. I think we should leave. Before we do, though... One more person to talk to. I want to go back and talk to... The Chancellor. Since he did yell at us for showing up during the night and interrupting his his beer time. Maybe he's a whiskey man. I don't know what he was drinking. Hello, Chancellor. You here? No. My only son, Lorenzo, is off on a world tour at the moment. It's good to let your children go off and broaden their horizons while they're young. I have high hopes for him being a very important man in the future. Hmm. I mean, you can always be doing worse for yourself, Jess. Honestly. Comes from a well-to-do family. They seem pretty nice. He's traveling the world. 
Who knows, maybe he even would have came with us in his journey if we had bothered to ask him instead of just, you know, running off without so much as a word as to what we were going to do. Oh, man. I wish I could move the map over. Now, where did they say Baccarat was? To the northwest, I think? I don't see anything on the map, but... And the holy protection finally wears off. For what that's worth, which is absolutely nothing. Really, Macho? As long as it's just one, I'm not too terribly afraid. That still sucks. Doubling your attack power. On the first turn. Thank you, Jess. It's another reason I like letting the AI choose their tactics and what they want to do. I can be mad at them or glad at them, and I don't have to put any of it on my own shoulders. So nice. Now, we're just going to stick to the road again. I'm not much for exploring the wilderness right now. We seem to be in very hostile country. Bodkin Fletchers. Plump. I want you to zap the living shit out of him. The buff is nice. Probably not too terribly required for a bunch of monsters that would rather poison us than do actual damage to us. Aren't you just the quickest little slime in the West? Were the quickest slime in the West. Oh, say goodnight. You little runt. I may actually end up going back to the Swordsman's Labyrinth to do some off-screen grinding. The, the money is good there, the experience is more or less exactly what we're getting here, and I could probably stomp everything in there on the first or second turn with absolutely no threat to myself. A fuck ton of cure slimes, okay? Interesting. I could see maybe, no I can't see. I can't see how this would be an annoying fight. Even if they do heal themselves to full, it's not like they're going to be able to kill you. Because if you can survive the not-so-machos and everything else, surely you can absolutely slaughter these things. Good experience. Horrible payout. Okay. Got some weird swamp. To the south, it looks like. But I'm not really interested in checking out. Let's see what this says. Lake Argon and Argonia Castle. Okay. I have no doubt we'll probably be going to Lake Argon at some point. Skull Riders. It's a bit more terrifying. Um, we're gonna try to burn them. I was thinking since they look like they're riding undead things, maybe they'd be weak to fire, but they have a fire attack, so... I don't think that that was a good plan. God, the damage they do! I need better weapons, better armor. Yeah. Okay. 
37 damage. Absolutely brilliant, Jess. Bloody brilliant. Okay. Smart enough to attack the one that's awake. I approve of that. I think I've noticed that before, but it still, still blows my mind. They probably don't do intelligent things like that every time, but... Eat my hips! Says. Why do they get mounts and we don't? 388 experience for that. Good lord. 15 hit points. 5 strength, 3 agility, 4 wisdom. We get 6 skill points. All into courage! I really do need to look up some guide. Okay, we've got a hut up here and... A fucking monster team. Mushroom Squad. Ginyu Force or something like that. The Moon's Mercy. Okay. I do want to check something. What else can we make? A stylish helm, stone hard hat, we've got a bronze knife and a bronze knife. Not entirely sure that I've actually got two bronze knives. Got one. And that is unfortunately it. Okay. What else can we make? I bet you the uh, white shield is iron shield plus silver armor. I don't have a scholar's cap for the sage's robe. Robe. I don't have a cloak of evasion. I don't have animal pelts. I don't have a wizard staff or rock bomb shards. Healthy cheese. Plain cheese plus a healing item. Plain cheese plus a medicinal herb. I'm curious. Really, that's not it? Um, maybe it is plain cheese and do I not have strong medicine maybe? Oh. Surely it's not like an antidote or something. Okay. What about the Moon's Mercy? Plus regular cheese. I'm also curious what would happen if I combined three Moon's Mercies. Okay, I don't care. A healing item. It's not strong medicine. It's not a... Medicinal herb, it's not the moon's mercy. It's obviously something more rare than I've got. Fucking machos. You wouldn't even be that big of a threat if you didn't double your attack power every time. <gasps> Put into an even deeper sleep. 93 damage. He took a ton, though. Okay. I'm glad he didn't do that to someone like Jessica. He would have been brutally murdered. In one attack, and I would have been very angry and frustrated. Heals up. Angelo, burn through all your MP so that we don't have it when we really need it. Where is that hut? I guess it's not so much a hut as it is a camp, huh? Oi! If you follow the path to the east, you'll find yourself in Argonia. It's a massive old place, run by a bloke called King Clavius. I know that, I've already been there. 
There's this blind old man who lives in the forest to the west of here. I was there just the other day trying to make a sale. I was wondering to myself if he might sometimes get shortchanged when he buys things. What with not being able to see and all? Not all traders are as good as honest as me, you know. I'm always very careful to be fair like that. Anyway, just as I was musing away, he piped up and said he'd never once been shortchanged. Well, that took me aback, I can tell you. It's like he read my mind or something, talking about a coincidence. We travel all over the continent selling our wares. If there's anything you need, I'm sure we can sort you out. A dream blade? A magical sword can occasionally put enemies to sleep. We did have a recipe that called for something. Using that. Cloak of Evasion, that. Okay. Hmm. So I need... Need a lot more money than I've got. Let's sell... The short bow. Gonna sell... Eh. I don't know if I want to sell the rapier or not. The wayfarer's clothes, yeah, those are rubbish. The uh, leather dress, that's... Rubbish, as far as I know. The dagger... The scale shield, I probably won't use a scale shield for anything else. We've already created... Something with it. Oaken Club, I'll sell that. Do we have enough? No. Should probably pay attention to how much stuff costs before. Moon's Mercy. Sell one of them. Why not? Try not to crash the market on them. Though I'm not sure how accurate that threat was. Leather cape. Eh, we've got enough. The Dream Blade. You'll find that using one of them as an item can be quite effective during a battle, by the way. Okay. Uh, just throw it in the bag. That would be a massive damage increase for both Plump and Angelo. But... We're going to completely waste it by throwing it in an alchemy pot and... Seeing what I can make with it. Uh, I guess not. So I don't have a gold ring. I forgot about that other component. So... Clump? I think I'm going to give this to you. Yes. Goodbye, Boomerang. You have served us well, but you are serving us less effectively. Every new area we reach, it feels like. For a second, I thought you were floating as if you'd hung yourself. I... I bought in a load of snakeskin whips by mistake a while back. Couldn't sell them all, of course. I racked my brains, trying to figure out a way to get rid of them. And then I stumbled on an alchemy recipe to turn them into dragon tail whips. Can't tell you what it is, mind. I suppose I could give you a hint. They're called dragon tail, so they're obviously made from part of a dragon. Two parts, to be precise. Okay. Snakeskin whip plus two dragon items. Lovely. Hmm. At least he was nice enough to give us that little hint. Not that, you know, I don't even think we've fought a dragon yet. Their fire is not going, that's strange. <laughs> Whatever, it's not my problem. Where's Baccarat? Baccarat. I'm gonna be, maybe... There's something way up there on the tower, or on the hillside. Looks like a tower. Three not-so-machos. 
Can I run? Thank God. Thank the goddess for smiling upon our little group today. Perhaps saving all of our lives. If I ever try to run from them and fail, I will not be trying again. That would be suicidal. Man. Some cockatiers, a metal slime knight, and something even more horrible than all of them. Um, we're gonna zap them. I don't even know if I can hurt the Metal Slime Knight, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I can. I won't be getting Metal Slime experience, most likely, from it. I think if I killed the Metal Slime, it would give me about a thousand experience, or fifteen hundred, at this point. Totally worth farming and fighting if you can find them. And you've got the skills to kill him. Yeah, kill the cockatier. Or Jess will do it, whatever. <laughs> got that puny little sword in our hand. <laughs> Cracking me up. At least from the angle we were in. Oh, nice. It put him to sleep with one hit. Wake up, Slime Knight. Old Slime Boy. Life? No. Let's not go there. Enemies are defeated. Eh, experience wasn't too bad. Could have been better, of course. I'm going to continue to complain about the experience here. It's not really worth the danger. I can Dragon Slash now. I would love to try to run away, but there's too many of them. I just have a feeling it would be very bad. Oh, you can heal, huh? I bet you think you're so clever. Now all we need are... Uh, Slime Knights riding Cure Slimes or something. Whole army of Slime... Slime Knights. Riding all types of Slimes. King Slimes. Metal Slimes. Liquid Slimes. Cure Slimes. Definitely She Slimes. You're totally fucked now. You shouldn't have healed yourself. We made you watch all your friends die first. Then you're gonna get taunted by Jess for one damage. It's a bit late for that, Angelo. It's a bit late for that. Kinda something you cast on the first turn. The orc drops a treasure chest. It's an iron lance. Should be good experience, but or good gold. I'm not actually going to use it. <laughs> I don't see Baccarat anywhere still. I kind of expected it to be a little ways away, but good lord. It might have been quicker to take my boat. Lake Argon. I don't even think we're going the right way, honestly. There's no signs. Anywhere saying Baccarat this way. Could you all stop attacking me in groups of five or more, please? Coming very tiresome. Yes, you can stab. And you do it very fancy. We're also proud of you that you went to like baton quarter school. 
before learning how to stab people in the face like a rude jerk. I need to get her a better weapon. 190 gold coins. Everybody ready to be topped up? All huddle around now. Angelo to dole out his hugs. Gotta go all the way across the bridge. I'm gonna be really upset if I ended up having to go north there. Fuck me. There is so much countryside to explore. There's like... Some giant bull or something hanging off the edge of that cliff over there. I don't know. Maybe it's flying. Metal Slime Knights, go away. I'm not interested. I'm not even sure what you guys can do besides slash us for minimal damage and heal yourself super annoyingly. They're pretty damn strong when it comes to their physical defense, it looks like. I expect that, of course, but... It'd be nice if I didn't have to take them down with magic. Plump's gonna run out before we even get to our destination, it seems like. Probably Angelo, too. This will be one of those expeditions where I have to turn back. Because we've run out of resources. Nine damage! Oh no, whatever we'll be doing. <gasps> Surprised you didn't fall asleep there. Just finish him off, would you? Thank you. Get this crap out of the way. Jessica's level 20. 9 hit points and 6 MP. She gets 6 agility and 6 wisdom and she learns sizzle. Only 4 skill points. Aha! We finally capped out. Cannot raise the skill any higher at current level. Okay. Hmm. The skill is a boon for learning all sorts of spells. Can apply techniques to weapons other than daggers. I really want to put points into fisticuffs, but so far I haven't actually done any hand to hand. We don't have a stave of any type, a staff. The skill is a boon for learning all sorts of spells. When a staff is equipped, your maximum MP and magic attack power will increase. I think we're going to dump them into there. Until I find out, I might, I, at some point I'll actually investigate. But I really need to find out, you know, how good Fisticuffs is. Get a bottle of delicious fresh milk. And yeah, I don't know, that's some type of weird statue over there on the cliffside. If you guys didn't see it, tough shit. You'll see it soon enough, I'm sure. If you're not watching and you're just listening, well... I know how it goes. Let's see. Just attack. Not gonna use any magic. It's only three of them. And Angelo was smart enough to cast that at the very beginning. My, my, my. Say goodnight. I'm trying to imagine how frustrating it would be for the enemy if me and Angelo had these rapiers. And we're just constantly stabbing enemies and putting them to sleep. It'd be glorious. That's how I want to go out. 
I want to be in a blissful sleep, unaware of what's even going on, and then, and the, in the flash, in the blink of an eye, I'm done for. Never even know what's happening. How do you do no damage? I feel like we're just we're just toying with him at this point. You bastard. Angelo. Quit it. There's one left. It's asleep. It's almost dead. It is dead. That's why we can't have nice things. Continue to waste your MP. Okay, we're gonna go check out that creepy ass statue. Right there. Make sure that there's no treasure chests behind me. I have a bad feeling about this statue, by the way. No, go away, Metal Slime Knights. Thank you, I... Spend some of my karma to run away. Is that another one way over there? I think it is. What the hell is it? There's nothing I can interact with. Interesting. It's a saber tooth cat. I would love exploring more if I wasn't attacked every, like, eight steps. I've spent probably 20 minutes of this video in combat. Maybe I need to cast Holy Protection again. Use some Holy Water or something. These things are definitely not a problem. Unless they get really lucky. Hmm. 454 experience. So what are the saber tooth cats looking at? There's a... There's another one. Okay, maybe that's Baccarat up there? Just a little bit further ahead? Let's hope we've got enough resources to make it. All traces of monsters in this area disappeared, it says. It's totally trustworthy, right, guys? I think it says that in every Dragon Quest game. All traces of monsters have disappeared, despite the fact they... It's completely wrong. It'd be nice if it was more honest. It said, most traces, some traces, or no traces of monsters have disappeared because you are way under leveled for this area. Quit trying to cheese it. <laughs> Tree faces? Tree faces. I don't even know where I was fighting these last. Was it Reds out by Pick'em or something? Yangus pulls out the axe and chops that one into kindling. A, a, a medical herb. Really? You're going to waste your time. And my time. With a medical herb. Drops a medical herb. This can't be Pick'em. This doesn't look like a fancy place with a casino to me. Hmm. Maybe it's the place on the hill beside me. Oh, quick, maybe we can squeeze up that path. No, of course not. Wishful thinking, at least. So, no, that does have a casino there, it says. Okay, we're gonna go there first. Before we go 
to that place, whatever it might be. A Knight Emperor's... Can I run? Thank you. Knight Emperor's and Tree Faces. I say thank you to the RNG gods, just in case. Thank you, O.R. and Jesus, for letting me run away instead of murdering me right outside this place and causing me loads of grief. I think we're going to go to the church. We're going to save it. If I can find the church, which one is it? Uh, too far. Is this the churchy place? Yes, it is. And whenever we come back, we're going to explore this town. And we can all cry a little bit on the inside because the casino is closed down and you can't watch me piss away all 1,000 of my coins. Which I most assuredly would. I will see you guys next video.